35 years now, I'm just a little bit surly on Super Bowl Day. <laughs> you know, because you get that one chance in life. That one chance. You know, and we chose to play a bad game that day. <clears throat> um, Ron Jaworski threw three interceptions that day. I was his intended receiver twice. As I told him for the last 35 years, Ron, if you're not open, don't throw the ball to the guy. Right? <laughs> you know, you're on ESPN every every week going, hey, he wasn't open. He shouldn't throw the ball late in the flat. Hey, sure, you got a three-step drop. It's like, Ron, what did you, like, you, know, what did you do that day? So we have, we have fun with it. Um, but, you know, and, and in my view, okay, I was five years out of high school. I was in my second year in the pros. I thought... We'll be back. You know, we got to the Super Bowl. Most most teams back then got to the Super Bowl, lost it, came back and won it again. You know, it happened with Dallas. It happened with the Colts. It happened with a number of teams. And I felt like our time would come again, but it didn't. And it just, you know, it's a, it's a good life lesson. You, you know, you gotta you gotta get it all when you can. It's it's uh, it's an, it's something that's still unsettled with me, believe it or not. But I think that goes back to Rich Mazza, you know, and the, the burn that I have for the, and the passion for the game. So. And I also think, you know, maybe life would be, life, there's a reason for all that. You know, sometimes you just, those kind of things stay with you and it helps you motivate in other areas.